Project Teamwork. The show is called Camp Mammoth by Stephen, Faith, Alex, Brianna, and Chelsea. Camp Mammoth. The idea behind Camp Mammoth came from our team member Faith. We all voted for his idea to be the one for the show because we saw great potential in the whole summer camp environment. By making the show about a summer camp competition made it much more like one of those competition shows you see on TV like Survivor or Big Brother. This helped us bring more of a real world vibe to our idea. Target audience. Our target audience is primarily focused on teens to young adults wanting to learn more about management in a more fun and creative way. Not everyone is suited for the reading out of the textbook environment, and by making an informative TV show helps a lot of young people learn more about management. Many people went to summer camps when they were younger, and this relates to many young people in regards to their personal experiences. Plot Camp Mammoth is a place where teenagers go in the summer to learn important life skills while living in a fun environment with their peers. Campers stay in a small resort in the woods for five weeks, organized into teams and tasked with challenges made to build their skills in leadership, teamwork, organization, and resource management. The teams compete at different activities and the campers are required to use these skills to help their team come out on top at the end of the five-week camp. The plot primarily focuses on Team Panesh and their time in the summer camp at Camp Mammoth. There's a camp competition that gives a chocolate party for the winning team. The six teams compete for in a variety of different competitions to see who will win the party. Team Panesh Characters The story focuses on our four main characters, Josie, Charlotte, Carl, and Nick. We did add some other characters aside of the main four, but we put less focus on them, reserving them as background characters. That way, by having a smaller ensemble cast of characters, we could do a better job of developing them. When coming up with the characters, we decided that it would be best to have characters with more human characteristics. Some characters are kind of passive and quiet, like Carl, while other characters are more vocal about what they have to say, such as Nick. The four characters can often be found deliberating on how to win each week's challenge. Nick always often butts heads with the other three due to wanting to do everything on his, his terms, but he eventually grows past this. Josie, the newly elected captain of Team Panesh. She has really good organization skills and she's good at motivating the team and optimizing the skills of the other team members. She's quite goal oriented by focusing on her, by putting a large focus on the five week camp challenge. She's level headed and quick to handle disagreement. She often comes in conflicts with Nick, but is quick to resolve any issues she has with him. Her biggest problem is she tends to restrict all the leadership making decisions to Carl and to Carl, Charlotte, and herself. Charlotte is the vice captain of Team Panesh and it actually worked with the former captain, Nick. She's happy to have a new captain, but still has an uneasy relationship with Nick. She's smart and empathetic and she always cares about the other members of her team. She usually speaks up for everyone if they have anything to say, and she often gets in arguments with Nick. Carl is often seen as an unofficial supporting leader of the team. He's often quiet most of the time whenever he's around the other group's members, but 
He usually spends most of his time listening and observing rather than speaking. He's quick to speak out against anyone who's acting out of line, but he doesn't do this often. He tends to just sit back and relax and let the other team members do the work, and if they need any help, he's quick to help them out. Nick, the former team captain of Team Panesh. Nick's pretty unhappy about being voted out and always mounts resistance. This is mainly because Nick is often considered a jack of all trades. He's skilled at most of the events and he's actually pretty good at everything he does. The only biggest problem is he has one big ego on him. He tends to micromanage everything and he doesn't like things being done different ways in the way he does them. One of the episodes that we decided to use to compare to the course material was episode 4, Human Resource Management, Planning and Tactical Plans. This episode relates to chapter 5, Planning, as a team analyzes the external environment around them, how they lost points due to an accident, and they have a new challenge coming up that they need to prepare for it. For the upcoming canoeing challenge, the team assessed their internal resources. Carl noticed that Nick has good rowing skills that could help the team with the upcoming event. They set the objective to win the rowing event and they create a plan to reach that goal. The plan is to put Nick in charge of the team for this event. This also relates to Chapter 7, Managing Diverse Human Resources. The team conducted job analysis and decided that Nick is the best choice to lead this event. The second episode that we decided to choose from all of our episodes to relate to the course material is episode 5, Managerial Roles, Ceremonial, Disturbance Handler, Managing Diverse Human Resources. In this episode, Josie is put in charge of a committee involving all the team captains in Camp Mammoth. This episode relates to Chapter 1, The Nature of Management. Josie has to resolve, co resolve conflict within a large group of people. To do this requires command and control over the situation and the room. It also relates to Chapter 12 individual and group decision making. Those participating in the discussion are team captains only. Some captains have bias towards their own ideas. Josie is able to combine the choices presented so every team captain is represented equally. Reflection. Final thoughts on management. Management is a work in progress and no one becomes skilled at it overnight. One needs to learn how to remove emotion from their decisions, aka being half Vulcan. Learning how to properly distribute work accordingly to their ability is the best way of achieving a higher quality output and a more efficient time. This is an important thing to learn as any manager, so that way you can have a more successful company, business, or group. Recommendations for future students. The first recommendation would be to make sh sure to keep a great source of communication with your teammates. Communication is important and if you are communicating with your teammates, then you're going to have a hard time going through this project. Making sure that everyone does their fair share. It's never fair for someone to do all the work by themselves. So by dividing up the work properly, you should have an easier time to complete the project. Divide a work accordingly to everyone's skill set. Not everyone is good at computer editing, not everyone's good at speaking. So it's often good to divide skills based on what each member is good at. That way you get a better output of your product and things come out nicer. And most importantly, there is nothing wrong with asking the professor a question. If you have any issues with the project or any issues with your group, you should ask your professor every time.